In this video, I'm going to show you a really effective concept that spaces the field well against zone and is also really effective for beating man-to-man. -man. Now, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Also, if you want to get my entire Trips Tied In offensive ebook, make sure that you hit the uh, or join the Patreon. The link to join that is going to be in the description below. Uh, you can join the Patreon for just 10 bucks. It gets you access to all of my Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks. So if you want to check that stuff out, again, I'm going to put a link to that in the description now like i said this play is really good against man really good against zone it's one of my favorite plays when i'm getting blitzed um, because there are several different ways in which you can actually run this concept so uh what we're going to do is come out in the dollar three two and we're going to show you a man concept here and then we'll show you some zone as well and you can do this out of any play in the formation and the only thing you need is tight end apprentice now if you don't have tight end apprentice use the play pats y in but i am going to show this out of the play pa counter go um because i want the play action blocking okay so uh what you're gonna see here is and you could put your trips honestly i actually think this works really well with your trips to the short side uh but you could put it on either hash mark it doesn't matter this is a universal setup and it's real simple all we're going to do is we're going to streak our inside trips receiver we're going to flat our slot receiver and we're going to drag our outside trips receiver and then we're going to post are tight end so you see this is what the play art looks like now if you want to send five out you can put your running back on a wheel uh, but what you'll see here real simple is we got a nice little quick read if it's man really the route we want to hit is this tight end apprentice post the reason this tight end apprentice post you could also um if you wanted to you could put him on a tight end apprentice crosser you'll see here the crosser gets significantly more separation against man most of the time so you can use a crosser or a post it's up to you but really what this is is it's really a great concept for spacing the field now if they use her the crosser at this point this drag pass lead to the outside is going to be a wide open on that sideline as well again short in elite on your tight end short out elite on your um outside receiver in your trip set will make this a lot better okay so you know they're going to as a user Let's say this is their user. They've got to go guard the tight end, which leaves um, this middle of the field wide open for this quick drag. You can throw the drag right there as well. Obviously, you saw it got picked. Why did it get picked? Because they're dropping a lot of people in coverage. But what we're getting a lot right now in the current meta of the game is we're getting something to this extent, right? Where we've got, you know, our user is, you know, going to be over here. And again, our user is going to have to kind of go and guard the tight end route. So this will kind of illustrate that. Um, you know, so you'll see right here, you know, as long as we can get a little bit of time in the pocket, uh, which is obviously something in practice mode, uh, but what you'll see is the whole middle of the field is open. So you see how this spaces the field against man uh, really well. This also is really good against zone. Um, so I actually like this play even better against zone because in, in trips formations, it doesn't really matter what zone you're playing. Okay, uh, you see here I'm in cover three. I have an inside third on the trip side and I have a hook curl. You're going to notice that the number three receiver oftentimes gets left alone in zone. So I can freeform this essentially right to the other team. I can throw this ball to the seam. Okay, it's a read. Obviously, you're going to look at it. Um, you know, again, zone, I do think the spacing might be just a little better uh, to the other side uh, or the other hash. But what you'll see a lot of times with this against zone is that right there, that little window right in the seam where we can hit that route to the circle receiver um you can highball this ball um you can literally just use a highball uh to throw this pass i'll show you here real quick so uh highball and just kind of like ag it i wouldn't recommend that if he's wide open okay if he's if you want to get that ball just cut it off it's real simple read against zone it's really effective too so again i'm gonna actually i'm gonna go back here and i'm gonna grab um, a zone blitz db fire two because I want to show you how good this is against this against the zone blitz as well. So we're able to beat the man blitz relatively easily. We're actually it's actually better against um, or we're able, able to beat man pretty easily. But this is actually better against zone too. So what they'll start to do is they'll start to zone out, and you see how I can kind of put this in little pockets in the seam as a nice little quick read. Okay. Now I want to show you something else about this. So a lot of people, if they're going to play if the, the meta the, the dollar, they're going to put this guy on the left in an outside third. 
they're going to man that guy over there over the top of that guy, and then they're going to man this guy up. This is, in general terms, the way that a lot of people like to defend trips out of dollar because, um, you know, trips is hard. It's honestly, trips, in my opinion, is very hard to blitz. Um, so you'll do more stuff like this. Um, the beauty of this is, again, they're, go they're going to have to go user this crosser because we do have a clear out streak in the middle of the scene. So what this allows us to do uh, from, a, from a perspective here is now my guy's not going to get pressed. He's actually going to have great leverage for this drag route coming across the middle of the field. As you can see there, we're able to beat main coverage really easily when they use this little switching tactic. Um, this is a concept you can use out of any formation. When they start to go with this, um, which this is certainly becoming one of the more popular ways to defend C routes, is to do something like this. Um, you'll see here that if I put Devontae Adams on a C route, you know, and let's say that I did something like this, okay? Uh, and then we'll just kind of set up our, our coverage, you know, if you will. But what you'll see with the C route here is oftentimes this is not really open to the outside, okay? Uh, the outside third is going to do a pretty good job a lot of times of, of handling that. So the, the solution to a defense like this, where they start to do kind of over adjust to the C route, is really to go with this backside concept where we have this, this drag crosser. Um, this play right here is just really good. Again, like I said, it just spaces the field really, really well. Uh, and as you can see there, we're able to beat that, uh, that cross man uh, style of approach to, to guarding this formation. So what about like, you know, drop eight? How does this do against drop eight? Actually does really good. So um, cover four drop, I think is really a great example of drop eight. Uh, what you'll see here is again, look at how open this drag is when it comes underneath that streak. Um, it's a real simple, subtle read. The flat a lot of times is really good. Let me show you something with cover three real quick. Um, so here's cover three watch the curl flat. Um, you see here, you have a high low, you can take your flat route, okay? Um, if you wanted to, if you if you don't like the drag, use an in route. So if you don't like the drag, use this five yard in. And what you'll see with this five yard in is you see how it sucks in the curl flat and then I can throw this ball to Hunter Renfro on the outside. So you can kind of like tinker with what under route you wanna use. If you wanna use a slant, you wanna use an in, you wanna use a, a drag. Um, but the other thing is this, this crosser, this streak will clear out the zones and then you can throw this in behind it. So their user has to kind of sit in the middle of the field to stop the drag, but they can't sit in the middle of the field because they have to go guard the crosser. And so you see how this play can really break down a lot of coverages, um, including, you know, whoops, I forgot to cross from my tight end, but including like a cover two style pressure blitz. Um, you know, this is a defense that I get a lot. DB fire two, we're gonna send both edges and then we're gonna have that soft squad on the outside. Well, what I can do with something like that is now I have that crosser coming in behind it. Also had the streak, also could, if they use that, then I have the drag. So there's just a lot you can do with this one play. Thanks for watching the video. If you wanna learn the rest of the offense, make sure you join our Patreon, only $10 to sign up, get you access to everything. Brand new ebook dropping today. Um, new updates coming today as well for you guys. A lot of content is dropping. Um, so make sure that you're in the Patreon so you get access to all that stuff. Thanks for watching. Again, if you wanna sign up for the Patreon, click the link in the description and hopefully we'll see you over there.